It's currently 1.30 in the morning and I've got peak dry mouth. So in the UK, usually you'd be screwed. All the corner shops are shut. Tesco Express, shut. It's closed. Not here in Thailand. We are off to 7-Eleven. Just leaving the apartment now. This is what an average apartment building in Chiang Mai looks like. A bit Mediterranean, you know, other than that. Most of you know me from my massive three bedroom pool villa. Um, I'm just staying here for two weeks in the center of town to need to do some work and stuff. And shout out to my mate for letting me stay here. We are on the bike. Let's hop on real quick. We All right, we are off driving to the nearest shop. I make it out like it's half an hour away. It's literally a two minute drive. I could walk there if I could be asked, but I couldn't. There is the holy. We have made it to the holy grail that is 7-Eleven. Right, let's park up and see. I literally only have 30 baht on me, which is about 80p, which is about $1. Let's see what we can get here for $1. By the way, I'm only going for drinks, not snacks. I could get all of this if I wanted to for less than a dollar. Like cheese, sandwiches, toasties, burgers, everything. But no, I'm here at the drink section. I'm back, I got a bottle of water and a Fanta, nothing special, but the Fanta in Thailand is goated. It's got no sugar tax, so that's why it is this strong, full, 100% Fanta that we all love. In the UK, we don't have that anymore. In the UK, our Fanta is yellow, not orange. That is more orange than dot. 